What's going on guys? This is James with Top Class Detail and in this video you're going to see how I perform my maintenance detail service on this white Camaro SS from everything from the exterior wash, the interior to the vacuuming and get the whole process of how I like to go about it. All right, James, what's the job of today? Uh, this is a regular client of mine, so we're going to just do a maintenance detail on this. Um, get this all cleaned up, inside out, wheels, tires, windows, and then uh, from there, move on to the next one. All right. Starting to get cold out here, the Rays had to bring out the sweats. Hey, I know, bro, me too. <laughs> hey, you think it's going to rain today? No, I don't has, think it, so. has it been raining over here in LA? Uh, it was, but that was like probably like last week, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Last week it rained, uh, last, last Monday. And besides that, everything's been going pretty cool. Right. So how you meet this customer, James? Um, I met him through Instagram. He DM'd me one time, and then from there went ahead and serviced his car once. He got this car brand new, and I started servicing it. And then ever since then, he's just been a consistent client with me. All right, and it's the maintenance wash, right? Yes. Is this a, uh, do you have a maintenance, like a uh, schedule, book? You know what I mean? Yeah, like a maintenance plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, it goes weekly, bi-weekly, and then essentially like once a month. Um, it's once, I don't offer it to every client. Some of the clients usually just ask for it. Like they bring it up to me, but some clients who have the good cars who are maintained, I'll let them know, hey, if you like, I have all for maintenance plans. It just makes it easier on you so you're not having to, you know, constantly book the appointment. We just set up a day at a time, show up and get it done. Mm. Has that been working for you? That works out pretty well. It does because a lot of people are working, so they don't, they forget. It's like a lot of people think the customers, like, you know, don't hit them back up, but a lot of customers forget about getting their car done. It's just not something that's on their mind all the time. So yeah. the maintenance plan's cool because you're able to keep in touch with them, let them know, hey, it's been about two weeks, your car needs to get, you know, detailed again. Okay, cool, thanks for letting me know. Uh, what days are you available? And then you just show up. Do you ever just go to their house without a, like a schedule and just show up or you always hit them up first i usually hit them up but there are there was a couple of clients who were just like oh you don't have to text me just show up okay mm -hmm. and i'll just show up and i would still feel a little iffy because i didn't know if they were 100 percent there or available but i'd show up and they'd happen to be there so it always worked out has that ever happened to you where you showed up and nobody answered or you had yeah. to wait a long time yeah one uh, um one of my clients in San Pedro had called or texted me for an early morning appointment. I showed up, I called her, she didn't answer. I texted her, she didn't answer. So I waited for like 15 minutes, nothing. So then I went home and then like three hours later, I got a reply back. Uh, oh, hey, I'm sorry. My husband took my phone, I didn't have my phone. And every, a whole bunch of just kind of, you know, like, mm. I wouldn't say lies, but just things to let yeah. me know what went on. And then from there, that was it. I just never went back and she never talked to me again. That was it? That was it. She was probably like, oh, he's probably mad at me. Yeah, because you know? she, she's related, or she's not related, but she's friends with my sister. Uh -huh. So I feel like she might've felt a certain way that she stood me up like that. And maybe yeah. thinks it's personal. Got it, got no, it. No hurt feelings though, we're all good. Taking pictures or videos, James? Pictures. Oh, for the for the gram? Yep. Dang, gots to, James, gots to. How you get that business and Instagram clients, but yeah. just because of how dirty the vehicle is, I pre-soaked it, I'm gonna let it sit, let the soap do its thing, strip off as much dirt as it can. After that, we'll come through, rinse it, foam it up again, and then hand wash it and get everything back to the original condition. So James, you're gonna foam it up again? Yeah. 
So I'm gonna foam it up again because if you saw how dirty the car was, for me to go and start washing that instantly, I'm gonna cause more uh, damage to the car than I am good, even though it's gonna come out looking clean. So I put some Coach Kimmy Green Star with a little bit of my um, Foamtastic soap. That Green Star is made to strip down any oils, any residue, any dirt. That's why now the car looks just as clean as it did if I was to hand wash it. Foam it up again, follow up with two buckets, and it'll be right where we need it to be. Oh, you a chemist now, James, or what? Uh, I do my research. Yeah. <laughs> What's up guys? So while I'm here washing this SS, I just want to let you guys know if at all you want any of the supplies that I happen to use from the buckets to the chemicals to brushes, anything like that, make sure you check the link in the description. All those links are Amazon affiliate links so they don't cost you anything more but they do help out the channel a little bit so we can continue producing great content. I just bought it. Right. So when I bought it, I, I it's, it's dirty. I, okay. Ugh. Don't let me ask you. Do you, have, do you have leather seats in there? Yes. So okay. I was gonna ask, like, what is the price range, like, like to clean the the? I started cleaning one, where like I noticed those erasers, they work really good. They do. You but gotta be careful. Very time consuming. Yeah, you just saw those magic erasers. They work very well. Just be a little bit careful because so on a lot of the leather, there's clear coat like there is paint. After a while, you'll start getting down to the bare um, actual like, you know what I mean. Yeah, so what I'd say is what you'd be looking at is roughly like 150 to like 2, 225. Um, that's my mini interior starting off and then my full detail. So the difference between both of those is the mini interior is going to cover the full basis without any seat extraction. So no carpet extraction or anything like that. And that's the 150. That's the 150. That's going to clean up all your leather, all your leather seats, uh -huh. all your doors, your dash, your cup holders, get everything rejuvenated yes. with the leather so conditioner. Except the carpet. Except the carpet. If you want to do the carpet, like I said, like you'll probably be in 175, 200, depending on the condition. Uh -huh. But if you yeah, James, a potential customer. Yeah. So that's his um, his app. And she said she just purchased that Land Rover over there and that it's very dirty. So she wants to know about getting like the carpet clean, the leather. So for me, just based off those three things that she told me, she's already looking at like a full interior detail. But since her seats are leather, I told her we can start off at a mini interior. Um, that's going to take care of all the leather seats, the doors, the dash, get everything all taken care of, protected with um, an interior protectant. And then if she wants to add the carpet, we can add the carpet and then we'll, I'll just charge her accordingly for that. Cause my full interior includes headliner, uh, floor mats, the full nine yards. So if she doesn't need all that, then I'll just work with her and kind of make her own package to just get exactly what she wants done. And then is it just in talks? She'll let you know or is it? No, more? so um, I think I'll be coming back tomorrow. What? Yeah, because she asked, she said that she's here anytime after nine o'clock. And since that ceramic coating got rescheduled to next week, I have some availability. So I told her if she wants me to head over tomorrow, I can come tomorrow and get it done for her. So that'll probably be in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Hey James, what's left, man? Uh, left, we're just gonna go over some of the waters that's still there from blowing it out, and then um, tire shine the vehicle, windows, and that's it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Yes, sir. How much do you charge? How much do you charge for your maintenance packages? This one's sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. Yes, sir. We knocked it out in what? An hour or so? Um, probably like a little bit over an hour, just because we were talking to that girl and other little things. But yeah, roughly about an hour. Hour, hour, hour and a half. half. Yeah. Not there you bad. go. Hey, so I would like to know what's the status with your homie Michael? Does he still help you every now yeah, and then? Yeah, Michael or? was just with me um, a couple of days ago, actually. Mm -hmm. We went, I want to say Friday, Friday and Saturday. Uh, we worked together and we did, oh my God, Friday we did like six cars. 
The day after that, we did like another five, so it was very busy. And it was really only able to get all those done because I had Michael's help with me. So that was very, like very, very helpful to knock those out. But it was also my fault because I had overbooked a lot of cars. Yeah. But you knocked them all out. Yeah, we were able to knock them all out. Um, I had to reschedule like a couple, but there was no issue. The main thing is like, um, I send clients times. So they'll ask me for a time, I'll tell them I have seven to 12 available. And then they respond three hours later and say they want seven o'clock. But within those three hours, someone's already taken the seven o'clock, you know? So now it's like, okay, well, I don't have seven, I have this time. And then it gets confusing. They still want it done. So I say, I can try to fit you in, but most likely it's not gonna happen. I got you, man. How much you make those days, Friday and Saturday? Oh, were they on maintenance or? No, it was a couple different ones. I want to say probably like close to a thousand dollars those two days. I think the one day I did like five or six hundred dollars, and the other day I think I did like a little over four hundred or like close to four hundred. Yeah. But for sure, one day was like six, and then after paying Michael and everything, I profited a little bit less. But altogether, we made about one K. Okay. James, another walk-up customer? Yeah, at first I thought she was gonna say, oh, I'd like to be in the video, but yeah. she didn't say that. Now she said, I want my car clean. Yeah, so I told her, I said, um, she asked if we had time after this, but since we do have another appointment, I let her know I'll be coming over here tomorrow to service another vehicle, that if she wants me to get it done while I'm here, we could definitely do that. So I'm looking to book her in tomorrow around like 7 a.m. or 7.30. She'll be here tomorrow anytime after nine, so not too big of a rush. So we don't have to start too, too early. There's a hot spot over here, James. Seems like it, huh? They see you detailing over here. Gee. What's going on everybody? This is James with Top Class Detail. And in this video, you guys saw me do a maintenance detail on this white Camaro SS. You saw the process from the wheels to the wash to the interior. And if you guys like the content and at all wanna see any of the tools that I use in this video from the brushes, chemicals, anything like that, make sure to check the description. All the links will be down there. As well as if you wanna stay tuned to any other content we post, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Top Class Detail as well as TikTok at Top Class Detail.